Monday, March 27th, 2023. It's today, today. <laughs> A. Yes, sir. We're officially back at it. Book nice coming at you with another daily news update. So happy Monday. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Please go back. Check out Friday's episode of the Articulated Comic Book Art Podcast. Episode 236 is available for your listening and viewing pleasure. We talked about images of the Into the Spider-Verse animated film Marvel Legends line popping up. I think this was in Arkansas or something like that. We also saw some in hand unpackaged images of Miles Morales. Alice that look Ah, I don't know, kind of wonky. We also saw that the Guardians of the Galaxy, the Cosmo Dog Builder Figure Wave showed up somewhere at retail as well. Dan on Twitter actually said that this wave should be available April 10th, but clearly a couple sets got out early. You know, I still have not seen Ant-Man and the Wasp Quantumania, but Jonathan Majors got into some trouble over the weekend. We'll dive deeper into that on Wednesday as the story is still developing, but Bro, what is you doing? All my brothers out there know what I'm saying already. And you have no business, <laughs> no business messing with that lady. But uh, yeah, I'm still on Mezco Superman watch. I was hoping that maybe he'd show up today. My man Jose got his over the weekend. He's in New York. I don't know what's taking so long for this figure to show up. I did get word last week that I'm going to be charged for Blob and one of these X-Men three packs. I think the one with Forge and Storm, if I'm not mistaken. Those are supposed to charge tomorrow, I believe. So looking forward to getting those figures in. Quite a few people have had Blob and both of these two packs for quite a while now. I did pretty much almost finish up the Mezco Conan the Conqueror review this weekend. And I tacked on some of the booster kit and messed around with that. I actually had a really good time opening that stuff and messing around with that figure. As you know, the first Conan release was my figure of the year in that year that it was released. I talked about that in the review. So look out for that. I did promise that I would finally finish up my top. 10 Marvel Legends of 2022 on the podcast on Friday, and it's close. I'm almost there. I'm feeling very good about displays that I want to get done in the next couple weeks and shoot them in course. And man, I'm just kind of sick of all of this grievance YouTube and and people complaining about collecting. Man, I'm having the time of my life collecting right now, displaying. I love where things are in terms of displaying. And although I can be critical of different companies and things that are going on, we are literally getting some of the best figures or the best figures that have ever been produced in terms of action figures right now. There's so much positive going on, so many things buzzing. I really don't want to like <laughs> criticize other people who I think, because I don't think this way, might be shills or shilling for a company or talking negatively and building building on that to try to score views and stuff like that. I'll stay in my <laughs> three to 6,000 views a video range just to stay positive and continue to have a good time. So I'm going to be ramping it up in terms of displaying here on the channel and not really <laughs> focusing on what other people are, are saying or doing if it's negative, you know? I'm always looking at water towers in New York City, engaging the scale and seeing how you know, they scale with the buildings and how I could replicate that for toy photography. Looks like somebody has the next wave of Hasbro G.I. Joe classified series figures in hand as well. Sort of cryptic post here, just stating that he has them in hand. No real other information, but this is definitely a wave I'm looking forward to myself. Looks like Todd McFarlane is out as the director of the upcoming Spawn movie. Rick has some interesting things to say about this, so we will be talking about this story on this week's episode of the podcast, too, on our midweek episode of the podcast. All right, I was waiting around to see if any more news was going to drop. It's been slow today, not much going on, so I'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow's Team Up Tuesday on the Articulated Comic Book Art Instagram account. It was a great Saturday salvo this week, a lot of great shots, so many people in the community doing their thing. Listen, ACBA, baby, if you collecting, displaying, and you on that wave right 
right now, more than likely you on that wave based on somebody that started in the ACBA community. So we're going to keep reinventing this thing, keep sparring, trading ideas, tips, tricks, tactics. You know, we doing that in the ACBA Facebook group and the grind on Facebook as well. And that's what it is. Shout out to everybody doing their thing, having a good time. Let's keep it positive. Let's keep it fun. Let's keep it fresh. Holla at y'all tomorrow. Thanks for hanging out. As always, rate, comment, and subscribe. Hit that bell down there. And until next time, peace. I'm in the game, I'm grinding, I got the play 24 hours in the day, 7 days out the week I never sleep, I'm on my grizzly bear 52 weeks out the year, yeah